Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more RimWorld. Um, and so we are slowly recovering from us getting our uh, butts whooped by some capybaras. Um, as far as I know, everything's going so far so good. Keep an eye out for that Feralus because he will attack my peeps. So I'm thinking... Hmm... I don't have the steel that I would like to have to uh, really get to work on some of that stuff, so I think we're just gonna lay low for now. Let's also... Hmm. Yeah, I suppose we're just gonna have to wait it out, because until these guys are moving up, Mike would be super useful, because we could have him do be our designated crafter. And then we won't have to worry about anybody needing to get stuff done. Tate died, interesting. Well, you live and you learn. He wasn't too good, so I don't care a whole lot. Um, do we have any graves? I don't think we do. Let's go put them down here. Hopefully that Feralus doesn't start hunting my people, though. What are you being so upset about? Raw food? We have meals. It should be cooking the meals. Corbett's over here getting all this, uh... He's getting all the stuff done. All the, uh, what's it called? The gathering. Let's see here. If you guys would... Animal herder. Okay, Hunter lacks a weapon, so Chewy... Um... So Chewie's weapon is down here still, probably, where he got knocked out? Where was that? I don't know where it is. Oh, he got knocked out, like, over here. Oh, no. So let's, uh, let's grab that. Let's haul these guys. Yes, very good. Oh, hey, you gonna grab some silver while you're over there? Chunk of spacecraft. Very good. Some free components and stuff. Castillo is now able to walk, which is really nice. So you can come over here and put your stuff on, right? Oh, she's walking so slow. Medical emergency for who? Me? Oh, oh no. Am I not getting treated? Okay, you need to get to bed, good sir. Alright, so he's tending to himself and then he's gonna get to bed. I'm thinking he's okay. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. No, ah, uh, come on now. Who else do we have as a doctor? Walton, let's have you rescue and treat ya boy. Castillo will go get her stuff put on. Think he's okay? Yeah, no, he's okay. Even if he doesn't get treated, he's still good. Just gonna need some time to uh, recover, probably. So let's see here. Who is our talker? Walton. I'm gonna have you talk to Hammond. See if we can find anything good from these people. So it's mostly just stuff that I'm not interested in. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. It's always worth checking out, though. So he's recovering. Castillo's recovering. We're good. We, uh, I think we have finally fully recovered from the capybara mishap. Very good. Our research, we're gonna get agriculture done eventually. I would really like to get Mike. What's he at here? Okay, so he, he's getting there. He's definitely getting there. More spacecraft, interesting. Well, I'll certainly take it. I'm not gonna say no to that. Um, good. Cool. So everything's looking good so far. We're getting most of our construction done. We get our colonist is gone for some reason, the guy who died there. So as far as I know, he's... He got eaten or something. 
Who knows? People are getting warm. Uh, so we should probably have some, um, what's a good one? Ponchos, probably? Or maybe, since we don't have many people wearing hats, we could go with, like, sombreros? Oh, we already have them being made. Cool. So, well, you can take that over. So who is our tailor, then? Castillo, right, well, she's gonna be... Probably under the weather for a while there. So no, not not really. She's she's making progress. She's good. She's gonna rest though, which is fine. I would probably rather you do the tailoring and stuff though. She's sleeping for the night, which is fine. Chewie has what? Inspired trade. Interesting. Okay, well, the next guys that come over, we can have him take care of that, right? Just let the knight come and go. Looks like we got a little bit of heal root, which is good. Herbal medicine is better than no medicine, by a long shot. Still working on breaking his uh, resistance. Very good. Meals are prepared. And now she is gonna get to work on the sombreros. Perfect. This will be good because as summer gets here, we're gonna be, uh, it's gonna get hot. So we're gonna need that. Oh man, these feralisks. They're everywhere. Or maybe they're not. Is this the same one? Might be the same one. Six and 59 days, apparently, is his age. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 10? Sheesh, we get a lot from that. Okay. Uh, I think that's probably from a mod. Uh, nearby settlement contacts you. Fields have yielded. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe. I don't know. Wouldn't get my hopes up about it. All right, classy. Bringing in the steel, baby. Very good. All right, cool. So I think we can... If that's how much steel we're really getting, we can probably pave this. Um... I think it's probably for the best. It'll make it so people can get around way quicker. This is marsh, I assume? Yeah. They'll avoid it. It's all good. Not the Feralisk. No! Corbett. Do we have any bows? We have no bows. Just maces. Okay, well, let's get everybody. Oh, Corbett. No, my friend. Run! Run! Everybody back up Corbett. Get him out of there. Oh, cool. We got it. Oh, that was easy. Wow. I was expecting that to be much more uh, dangerous than it was. So is, he's gonna, is this Feralus going to die then? No. Finish him off. Ching. There we go. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Let's also uh, build... Oh, it's marshy soil out here. So annoying. Thermodon has self-tamed. Interesting. We could ride him, so I might as well do it, right? Such a strange animal. Not the feralist. Oh. Oh my. Well, it looks like he might die now. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. He's gonna beat him. That's gonna ignore. Go on. Two times speed. What a fight. What a fight. <laughs> That's good stuff. I like that. Very good. Well, Thermodon, you have proven yourself. No, you don't need to tend to him. Come on. Oh my gosh. I mean, I suppose it's not a huge deal, but... He was probably going to be fine. Permanent gunshot injury in the left eye. Interesting. 
What are you doing, you dingus? Take that. There we go. The Feralisks, these ones are probably going to attack him eventually too. Or they're going to eat this dead one. So the jungle is no joke. They don't mess around in the jungle. Speaking of that, let's also get some, some walls up. So this mod adds some uh, exterior walls that you can build. And they're basically, they're just built from the wall. Uh, from blocks, bricks, blocks, bricks, whatever. Um, and they're super, super, super nice for uh, handling all that. So, I suppose we build this out here like this. And then down like this, probably. We will be able to walk out that way. And then we can also build two doors. Let's build them out of granite just to uh, match the theme there. And there we go. And they'll get those built up eventually. It'll take some time for those ones for sure. Um, okay, I really don't want you guys parking your caravan on my stuff because they're going to eat it. So you guys can all go down there. Very good. Chewie has inspired trade, so let's have you trade. What can you get for us? German Shepherd, eh? I like me a good German Shepherd. A Shih Tzu? Um, no. Rice. So we're low on food. It might actually be in our best interest to get some meat. You can have that. I don't want that trash. We don't have a whole lot of money. Hmm. Suppose we can sell some, uh, some wood. We are in the rainforest. And we can use that to buy some... Cactus fruit, I suppose. Perfect. That's a good trade. And we can use that to cook up some some meals. So we're 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 good. We're sorted. Sorted, sorted. Very good. And then we're getting all this built up. We are uh, looking pretty good, all things considered. Eventually, we'll get this. Yeah, this is gonna take some time. So. But I figure if we can get some perimeter defenses set up, that's probably for the best. Matter of fact, let's queue up some of this stuff. Um, let's go with cavalry spikes here and here. And then barbed wire here to there. Go with... Some embrasures, right? Let's go with uh, granite embrasures, and then we're going to need some sandbags to protect our melee peeps. Right about... That seems about right. And then some bear traps to, uh, you know, get them on their way in. We'll just kind of... There we go. Seems good. It's going to be expensive, so we're probably going to end up having to um, forbid that for now. Because that'll take some serious time. Uh, forbid? There we go. So Castillo, you getting your construction skill up? Yeah, it's very good. Bill apparently building floor is good for construction skill. Alex's, or Alex Mike's resistance is almost broken. Major break risk in uh, Classy the Digger. Recreation starved. Well, you have time, so I think... Maybe it would be in our best interest to set some time aside for that, right? Usually I think like, you know, two hours before bed and two hours just at the end of the day. That way they for sure don't get recreation deprived, right? Perfect. Almost done with this. 
Orbit is now fully healed. Classy, come on now. Do something fun. There you go, play some horseshoes. Let's build some uh, more recreation if we're able. Let's build like a billiards table. Oh, you also need a table table, right? Or not billiards, I meant chess. Let's go with furniture and build a couple of stools here. Let's also build a couple more stools here and some tables. Ah, hey, right. come on now, get out of here. What's the button for this? C, there we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Keeps locking into the wrong area. And then for floors, we will set down wood floor in here. And we'll probably have to chop down some more trees. Get our defensive area, D, you know. So there isn't so many uh, trees in the area for cover, right? Obviously you don't want the enemies getting really good coverage when they're coming in. Very good, almost broken. I think we'll break his resistance today. We're almost done with this wall over here. Be nice if we only had to defend from this way, right? Obviously this, this little area down here. So this is now technically cleaned off, cleared off, I mean. So it's not as strong as regular granite, but it's much stronger than wooden walls and it takes literally no resources to make. You just use raw, raw stone, so. I think that's pretty good. The floor is getting set up. We are good to go. As far as meals go, we're looking all right. This will last us plenty. Our corn's almost done, which is really good. Yep, next time he gets spoken to, Mike's resistance will break and we'll be able to start recruiting him. He's going to be really useful for this stuff. So nobody's wearing any of the hats. Um, Lassie's the one who's been the most likely to break. So let's get his heat under control. There we go. So we won't progress his heat stroke anymore. Now Bloodbound is getting up there as well. Okay, very good. So Chewie's getting all that sorted out because he's our night owl. Let's see, what other stuff can you be doing? Can you do anything more that's useful? If you could tailor, that would be good. There we go. Perfect. Walls are coming along. Some free steel down here that I could probably get, so let's do that. Uh, let's deconstruct this. Okay, don't care about the friendly AI. If you are wondering, hey, here we go. Time to recruit. If you are wondering, the friendly AI basically is saying, hey, I, um, if you want, you can, oh, awful hat, very good. Wait a minute, this is a special hat. Negotiation ability. So who's our negotiator? Walton, so this is for her. Um, long story short, um, it's the end game. So if you want, you can build your own or uh, your own ship, or you can um, find this ship and get off the planet that way. Um, and so the mods that we use actually restrict research. So the only research we can do is the research that's lit up bright. So all this stuff is blocked off um, and that's due to our medieval mod, right? So. All of this stuff is going to be what we're working on, and we're never going to get past this. Um, so it's mostly just going to be trying to get a larger colony that's more fleshed out as far as resource gathering and efficiency and all this stuff. So that's that's how that's going to work. So let's see here. What is his percentage chance? Oh, he joined. Cool. What was his chance? Does it not say? I don't know. So he took his, he immediately joins and then leaves his, uh, his loincloth, just tosses it. So, Mike, welcome to the colony. Your name will be Lambda. 
Lambda driver. There we go. Welcome to the colony. You are, as far as com combat, you can do some combat. So I'll give you a steel club. And then you will also just put on whatever clothing you feel appropriate. And we are going to set your work up so you will be our... Um, Castillo... Let's see here. Yes, 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 yes. So you will be our new warden? No. We'll have Walton be our new... Continue to be our warden. But you will do this. So... Very good. You can plant cut two. You can grow, so they might as well, right? And you can also quarry, so I'll have him quarry, or mine. So he'll get to work on this stuff. Recurve bow, huh? Very good. So Walton is a shooter, and Bloodbound is not. Classy is not. So let me see here. The so Corbett is really good at melee, but he's also really good at shooting. So it's kind of tough. I'm thinking maybe we have him have a sidearm that's like a knife or something. Some sort of sidearm that we would be able to use melee for him. Let's see that there. Castillo, I want you to at least finish that. I don't think it'll ever get done otherwise. So go ahead and finish that. And then that can go to Bloodbound. Help him uh, shake that heat exhaustion. The recurve bow is done. And that will go to Walton. Wait, we have two. So you can have the good one. Let me see. Who else we got here? So he, Bloodbound is three. Lambda Driver is a four. So let's have Lambda Driver take the other one. There we go. And then Classy has the pick. So that's good. Very good. Perfect. So, as far as animals go, <laughs> we're going to be able to ride them, hopefully. Maybe tame some elephants, right? Let's say... Okay. Let's see if we can tame some elephants. What's our handler? Okay, so Bloodbound is our handler, and he's pretty good. Okay, cool. So let's actually get some light in here. Should probably get some light in basically everyone's rooms. And we also should probably put a wall there. And we should put some light in here as well. Just so it's not so dark, right? People do get a mood debuff if it's dark, right? Um, sweaty, huh? Yuck. What is it? Oh, a raid, huh? People from a uh, tribe's people from people of uh, Komaro have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Very good. So, how many people is it? Oh, he's riding a, he's riding an alpaca. He's riding an alpaca. Very good. This dude has a big old afro and some dreaded be and a dread beard. So, Loga, looking cool. Really good melee. Got to watch out for him. What about you, Blue? Or Vesalo. Good shooter, but he's got a club, so we're good with that. Your cooking skill's pretty good. Your cooking skill's good, so he'd actually be good. Um, so as far as where they're coming from, I'm assuming they're going... The fastest way for them to get in would be around through up here. So... <clears throat> we're just going to probably wait for them. Oh, wait, there's more. There's more than who I thought. So there's Fa Frog... Who's a good crafter and animal person and then blue who's a good melee person so obviously these guys are going to get there first because they're on their their animals so let's get everybody joined up over here um so let's get everybody over here and then who are my shooters i think it's walton and bloodbound no walton and lambda driver so you guys will come up here Very good. And you're gonna try to get, oh, no, didn't mean to move that. You guys are gonna get a, try to get a couple of pop shots off. Get a couple of shots off on them. 
Okay, not even close. Not even close. Okay, flee. Okay, got one hit. Oh no! Okay, we got one. He's got a thong on. Okay. Alright, so then Chewy. Chewy, you will attack. Um, probably the person on it, right? You guys will attack. And then you guys are going to uh, hide. Very good. So Chewy, you gotta run. Very good, now they're fleeing. Let's uh, see if we can get him. I meant to have him, have you guys shoot him. Very good. Killed them all? Killed them all. It's not, you know, wasn't the goal, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll take the steel club. Wooden club, we will just let it rot. So, as far as injuries go, it's just Walton. Nobody else got injured, just a couple of bruises. So we're good. Human fist and wild boar teeth. Okay. So, things went well. That's good. It's a good episode. I'm going to call it there. So if you guys are enjoying the series, please show your support. Leave a like. If you'd like to see some more of this, you can uh, subscribe to the channel. If you ding the bell, it'll send you a notification every time we upload. As well as in our Discord, we have a bot that will uh, let you know when we upload. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, the links for that is going to be in the description down below. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Big special shout out to my awesome supporters on Patreon, Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Lemongrass Bob, Bloodbound92, Lambda Driver, and Damian Hartvig. You guys are awesome. If you guys want to check out some other series we got going on on the channel, they're going to be linked over there on the right. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys later.